a uh, fan favourite now in Melbourne. He's almost become an, an adopted son here in Melbourne. The Rebel Roy Wills fighting out of the Thai boxing pit. This should uh, be Roy Wills, uh, a rebellion favourite in the rebellion stalwart. So Nudgy's uh, invested a lot in promoting Roy and uh, making him, I suppose, uh, uh, one of the Melbourne's favourite sons in the, in this weight division. And he's, uh, he's a great young guy, Roy Wills, as well. Oh, isn't he, Hammer? I really love chatting to him before and after the show. He's just got such a good attitude on life and Muay Thai and just, just a real pleasurable guy to be around. Really works hard in the gym, puts in the effort, obviously working with uh, the, the likes of his trainer, Blair Smith and uh, Toby Smith and all the gang out there at the Thai Boxing Pit. Fortunately, last time Roy was out here, he was up against uh, your next main event, uh, Tum Sidney Tong. Wasn't his night, but still pushed the pace up against one of the... Oh, oh. clipping elbow thrown early from Chad Collins. <laughs> Looking at uh, Chad move around. No. Light, of, light of foot, We're great not... angles. And once again, you know, a fighter that uh, is exhibiting great uh, angular footwork and mobility, um, which, you know, confounds a, a more stagnant fighter. Uh, and the guys generally that are, are base a lot of their strategy around full, full force power. When you're fighting a fighter that moves around so much, it makes the job so much harder. No settling into this fight. Hammer both boys already firing off the elbows. Chuck Holmes doing a nice uh, job with uh, push kicks both off the left and the right leg. As we see them tie up in the grapple in front of our commentary position once again. Broken by our centre referee. I like what I'm seeing already from Chad Collins. Thank so, uh, side doing another great job of matching up this main event. Chad Collins, Ham, I've actually, uh, being originally from Queensland myself, I can remember this uh, young man uh, fighting in his early days, and he's just a guy who's really flown under the radar his uh, whole career, and now yeah. he's, um, you know, he's taken on the likes of Roy Wills, and he's certainly got the goods to be able to match it and, and, and beat these, these caliber of guys, but, but you know, going to be a really big test for him tonight. Yeah, I've only seen Chad once or twice before, but uh, definitely he seems to have come of age and is moving so well and looks really confident in centre ring. Oh, does which he? Is a, which is a big a big thing when you're fighting someone the likes of Roy Wills. Sticky jab, but nails Wills. Oh, oh close nice. the elbows. Roy, trying to, Roy Wills now starting to step up the aggressive metre. But so far, Chad Collins doing a very good job of being evasive and staying out of uh, Roy's range. Well, Clayton Collier, his trainer's done a great job of, uh, of this one. Oh, both boys slinging the elbows, missing the mark. Well, Hammer, as I said, no settling in, no filling out process in this fight. Let's just get straight down to business. Well, that's, uh, and that's what we love. Roy coming out smiling. <laughs> both boys coming out smiling. You can see two veterans for both well over 30 fights. Uh, you know, in the centre ring, you can really see the, the the level of experience that these guys can display. This is, in fact, uh, Roy's 40th fight. So, uh, 40 wars he has endured. Roy Wills, big banging shot to the body. Chad rolls that overhand right out nicely, trying to get it behind the lead glove of Wills. More sedate footwork now from Collins. It's interesting to see both boys opening up uh, with the elbow straight away in the first round. Usually, you know, it's a more traditional tie style, so they don't uh, start throwing the elbows till the later rounds. Not with these two, let's get it on. <laughs> Make an early night of it. Nice chopping if leg possible. kick there from Roy Wills. Oh, goes for that leg kick again, nicely done, but firing back is Chad Collins. Yeah, he's got some great speed wheels, it's fast. That rear leg, lightning fast wheels. As we see Collins switching up, I wonder if Roy Wills has done some damage to that left lead leg. Oh, oh through oh, the elbow. With the elbow. Left Hammer. elbow, changes it up. Just when Wills thinks he's got the answer, Collins changes the question. Hammer, I'm just wondering whether Wills has actually already done some early damage to the left thigh of Chad Collins. He's switching up. He's not looking. Uh, he's not looking too comfortable on that lead left leg. As you can see, every time now Wills is kicking it, he's turning that knee in, a sign that uh, he's maybe banged yeah, it up and done some damage already. Wills uh, may have identified a weakness in the armour of Chad Collins, 
by the way that lead fly. You can see Collins now has switched up to Southpaw. Well, he's constantly switching up, looking to fire his shots, his offensive shots off from orthodox stance, but switching up to Southpaw to stay defensive. I think Roy, I think you're right, Hammer. I think Roy's trying to stalk in. He's looking for that uh, left leg. He's looking to try and bang one away into that left leg. As we see both boys tie up in the grapple once again, the skill level and the grapple of these two is quite of a high level. Oh, nice. He avoided the high kick countering with the right low leg kick. Fast hand work from Collins. Wills covering and kicking. Trying to break the rhythm of Collins by chopping away that lead thigh. You can see the lead thigh, the left leg of Collins now. Oh, Collins trying to fire off the elbows. <laughs> kick again from Wills, that right leg. Oh, I think that left leg, Hammer, I think yeah. he's, he's busted that leg up. He's just going to start going hunting for it now. Chad Collins not looking comfortable at all on that lead left thigh. Tell you what, if his leg uh, gets busted up too badly, April 10th is going to be uh, a <laughs> bit of a tall order. Coming up too close. Uh, Roy Wills has obviously identified a, uh, a sore point for Chad. But Chad uh, really hunt, hunting and bombing with those elbows. Just one thing that Roy's going to have to keep his guard up and guard nice and tight. Folks, here we go in round number three. My name's John Alarm and I'm joined the commentary by the Hammer Mark Cassini as Roy Wills gets off to a fiery start, delivering a couple of high hard kicks. Oh, nice jab too, low kick by Roy Wills, firing back with the elbows, it's Chad Collins. Chad looking very flat on that lead leg now as he goes back to his orthodox stance. But still firing away is Chad Collins. Oh, good. Good skip up from Wills. Downward elbow, Collins again. Spinning nice back fist or spinning nice back elbow. Nice evasive work by Roy Wills. Ah, oh, spinning elbow. elbow as well for Roy Wills. I think Roy is just going to be calculating and looking for not landing as many shots as possible on that, on that lead thigh. He's just going to want to land the right ones. Nice clinch work there from both boys as we are separated and restarted by a referee. There's a little bit of a, there is a bit of a nick on the top right hand, uh, right part of uh, Roy Wills' forehead hammer. So it's a tiny opening already been thrown out. Oh, massive uppercut thrown by Chad Collins. Just rolls out his punches nicely, Collins. He uses his reach well. And uh, combined, that's good movement. And I think Will's nose is a cagey fighter. He yeah. keeps moving, hence the plan to, to uh, take away his movement by chopping out his legs. Yeah. Nice high round kick there by Will's. Oh. Nice handy work. Fired back from Chad Collins. I'd like to see Wills try and maybe go back down to that lead thigh, see if he can slow down Chad Collins, because Chad is still well and truly in this fight, and he's got his confidence right up. I really love the handiwork of Chad Collins as well. Both boys, oh, spinning elbow, lands that one nicely. Trying to crush the guard of Collins' is Wills, but uh, he tightens up nicely, Chad Collins. Leg kick for leg kick, they go now. It's oh. that right power leg of Wills. It's amazing, great speed, great rotation. All done effortlessly. Oh, nice knee to the bread basket of Chad Collins, fired off by Roy Wills as he goes bombing at the knees again. Once again, big shout out to all of our sponsors, Ladbrokes, Quest Environments. The 
Singer Beer, Singer Beer, Sing Sports. Their, they haven't forgotten our gracious sponsors, have you, Johnny? <laughs> Sorry, I was just watching the action in centre ring. It's hard, it's easily to get distracted when you're watching a fight of this calibre. You were going to say it's hard for you to multitask. That's, that's what you were going to say. Round number four, the penultimate round of our main event. Chad Collins, Roy Wills, Queensland versus WA in Victoria. Both guys, high kick for high kick. Just keeping the score intact, matching each other's team. Oh, and nice right. step up elbow from Roy Wills. Wills through the elbow, step back to have a look at the damage that it done. We'll Again, get a better right look. Leg, the we'll right leg of Wills. It's power packed. It's just fast hammer, isn't it? It's just so quick. Just whips it really quickly off the hip. Oh, a little bit of a shot taken to the groin, but they're all good, good to go. Oh, high kick for high kick. Actually kicking at the arms now, trying to break down the technique. Big out. Heel kick attempted by Collins. Jump knee in the clinch again. Collins throws absolutely everything into his knee. They both spilled the canvas. It's great to see these 80s uh, martial art moves coming back into the frame hammer. <laughs> Sorry, Nadji, I know he's uh, thinking about bringing back the long pants. We, <laughs> we speak of it often. And potentially the booties as well. <laughs> the long silkies and the booties. I don't think, was I even born when uh, you guys are having those kind of fights? <laughs> we, may, we may bring back a special 80s matchup just for the youngsters to learn some history. As we go back to the action in the centre ring, both boys once again going kick for kick. Roy Wills, oh, make it, oh, miss for miss, kick for kick. Well, he kicked his eyebrow off him, <laughs> did Wills. Oh, as we see Wills just once again, oh, the wheel kick again. Doug Collins has a cut over the right side of his head. Tries for the chopping downward elbow. Wills shuts the distance down. Into the clinch they go, knee for knee. If I was a uh, hammer person, if I was Roy Wills, getting him in the clinch like that and, and pushing the uh, pushing my weight into him in the clinch, instead of trying to knee the body, probably try and knee to that front lead thigh, do some more damage. Uh, do as much damage as I can and slow him down. Yeah, break down that the, the thigh, short knee, less effort, maximum effect. Once again, the elbows go flying. A big shout out to Sting Sports. These gloves, once again, getting a terrific workout. Arjun and all the crew there. Daniel and the boys at Sting, great supporters of all the combat sports. Uh, Roy Wills has really uh, stayed off now. He's let off the um, lead leg a little bit as we see a bit of a short crossing elbow. Roy Wills going for elbows of his own. Bit of a sticking elbow in the face of Chad Collins. End of around number four. Hammer, this fight is too close to call. Oh, Hammer, here we go. Fifth and final round. This is the last round of Roger Rebellion at number four. Here we are with our main event, Chad Collins, taking on the Rebel oh. Roy Wills. I'll tell you what, a close fight. And that, it could be all down to this fifth and final round. Absolutely nothing in it, folks. How you're scoring it at home. Have you had a, have you had a wager on Ladbrokes? Roy Wills, $1.65, the red-hot favourite. Chad Collins paying a very decent $2.15. Tell you what, if you put a bet on Chad Collins, you might be in this, and you'd be pretty chuffed if you did. Chad's starting to move around a bit better like he was in the first round. Looking a little bit more mobile. Roy coming forward, stalking, looking for those hard, heavy shots. As he said, Hammer, that the speed of Roy Wills' right leg is just Beautiful. lightning quick. Beautiful shifting footwork now in, in play for uh, Collins. Good push kicks. He knows Wills is going to come forward. He's going to try and cut angles and counter. Oh, nice high uh, rear body kick again from Roy Wills. 
as we count down to the final stages of this round number five of our main event and our final round and fight of tonight, Road to Rebellion number four. Great fitness, skill, heart, technique from, uh, from both. Oh, nearly a decapitating kick there, fired from Roy Wills. Getting out of the way quickly was Chad Collins. Chad proving to be a bit evasive now and on the back foot. Don't know what uh, the chat to by the referee was about there. Either way, back to the action center ring. Roy Wills, nice sticky left jab. Right body kick coming into the clinch. Both boys banging away at the knees. Test of strength in the clinch on the inside. Knee for knee. Collins getting a couple <laughs> of good knees on the inside. Final 60 seconds. Wills going to bring the pressure. Needs to bring the pressure. I just want to see uh, if Roy wants to definitely win this fight. Just needs to bring it home a little bit. Just really, you know, stamp a good round in the eyes of the judges. Chad Collins has certainly brought it tonight. This is going to be a really hard one to score, Hammer. Nice low uh, leg kick there from Roy Wills. Oh, nice crossing elbow from Roy Wills. Final 30 seconds. Here we go, folks. Final 30 seconds of this main event. Road to Rebellion number four. How have you folks scored it at home? It's another close fight. All these fights tonight, well matched by our promoter, Sai Nudgy. Kick for kick. Here come the boys. Kick for kick. That's uh, the Muay Thai version of the AFL. Kick to kick. <laughs> just doing it on the bodies. And Except Wills. For Ties up. There it is. There it is. There it is. All done and dusted. That's our main event. To find out how it all went down. After five rounds of full tie rules, we've gone to the judges' scorecards. We have a split points decision. Your winner.